Elios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your monthly reading for February. Um, I finished the weekly reading already that's uploaded. We did it twice. And then the bi-weekly, um, the first two weeks of February, it's already uploaded. This is your monthly for February. We're going to be doing your tarot and then a divine message at the end. Plus, we are also doing a wrap, not wrap, a giveaway for the month of February. You have a chance to win a personal reading with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so that's that. At the end of this video, I will tell you how you guys can join. But right now, I'm going to tell you also, it's like uh, for people who's just joining in, um, who am I and what am I? Okay. Um, from what I'm seeing here is that a lot of interruption. Um, how to see this is uh, one, I am Sal. I am the proud owner of E3 Love Store. And this store has been very special to everyone. It is growing, it is thriving, it is amazing. Okay, so make sure to check out our store. Right now, our feature is our 14 karat real gold zodiac lucky charm. Make sure to check it out. It also has a diamond in it. And it has a locket, okay? So the way it works is this is good for manifestation. Well, it's Satvik. Gold is Satvik. It's Jupiterian. Opportunities and luck. That's why people who wear gold, normally like they're in the up-up, you know. But in reality, it's it's a good metal. You look at it as a metal that can help you. Don't look at it as a status symbol. Yes, it is. But working with gold can help you. Um, for me, it's like the blood. It, is, uh, it also removes any kind of toxin in the body. So you have copper, you have silver, you have different ways of working with metal, okay? And gold is a very good one that I wear also. I used to, I do silver before. I'm at gold right now and I'm sharing this knowledge with everyone. So go check it out. All right, so here we go. Let's see here. Okay. Ooh, first card Leo is the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is a card of power. Emperor is uh, driven. The Emperor is a card of action. It's an Aries card. It is someone who is, you know, a boss, a supervisor. They know what they do, business owner, works for the government. Those are the basic characteristics. But his Emperor takes charge, though. It is the Yang which means like it wants to make effort. It does show like um, a passion to their work and what they do. So this is a good card. Now, as far as your person, because I'm feeling that this is you, I mean, your person is that they want to see you. They want to have a conversation with you. But when an emperor gets a conver have a conversation, it's normally like a... Hmm, like, how do you say it? It's normally, it's a tough conversation because it's straightforward. It lacks a sensitivity. Okay, so let's see what this is about. But we love that it is the emperor. Mm -hmm. That's a good sign. Ooh, the chariot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a chariot. That's it is. It's moving. It's charging. It's chasing. So you are being chased, but but with your masculine, not you. I don't, I don't sense your energy yet here, Leo. Um, can be a Cancerian also. So there is a move, but you can be relocating. If you're the emperor in the chariot, you may be looking for a new home, a new place, and you're quitting your job from what I'm seeing here, and then looking at different opportunities. Okay, the way that it works with the chariot and the emperor, you will wake up all fired up with this energy and you just feel like I have to, I have to, okay? Now you will also see, now Saturn in your seventh house in Aquarius, Saturn delays, but it guarantees. So if it has been delayed for so long that you don't have anyone, well, darling, you're about to have someone. Mm -hmm. Saturn is a karka for marriage and work. Business-wise, also it's going to be good. Three of coins, someone wanting to build a connection with you. Learning and understanding is a three of coins. You could be a teacher, a professor, an instructor. 
You could be um, charged with the three of coins. You're really moving, I feel, here. Looks like it. Reestablishing yourself, opening up a business is a three of coins. Okay. Ten of wands. I feel like that's you. You're being chased because you quit. It can be with your job also. Quit your job and your job wants you back. But if it's your relationship, you carry the burden and you're saying here that's like, I don't want to be part of this. Right? Ten of wands. This is not my this is not how we roll. I'm out. This is not how we roll. No. Now, your person had a rude awakening and starts to chase you. Ten of Wands is like you really felt the pressure because you tried your best. You put your feet forward here. It's like, I am devoted. I'm working this with you. Okay. But since it's one-sided, you decided to, it's just like, I'm out. Mm. And more chasing is happening. Distant relationship, far from you, met online, eight of wands. It's a flight with the eight of wands. Um, so someone might be flying to see you, okay? The eight of wands is a message that is like, just, it's gonna hound you. It's like text after text after text or call after call, okay? So that's the eight of wands. Let's see here. Oh, nine of wands, but someone is on the defense on this. I feel like you're not having a day with your person. You're telling your person, like, uh-uh, guards up. I'm not going to talk to you, nine of wands. With the eight of wands, you're separating your energy from them because you got tired, okay? Because you used to build it with them, but I feel like they lack. And then right now, it's just like, so when I'm out, you're in, I mean... That's not going to work, right? Because you are hurt by your person with the Nine of Wands. You carry the burden with the Ten of Wands. Okay? So the way I work, Leos, if you're new, okay, I channel specific energies out there who's wondering right now, who's watching, about a specific question. So I need you right now, and you'll be surprised, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay out the cards, and we're going to ask the terrible questions. But I want the question that comes from you. So you out there who doesn't know me, okay? I don't know you all. The card will be able to pick up your question. Mm -hmm. So I hope this is this is you who's who's I'm channeling in this reading. So I'm gonna show you the cards, and then we'll go one by one. And this is what I call this is my very own grand reveal. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me show you the cards. So let's start with an emperor. Since this is a card of the masculine energy, from what I'm feeling here, like you, for those people who are engaged with someone already, your question would be, do they want a relationship with you? Like a committed, serious, you and me, monogamous, forever relationship. Okay, at four for that. Okay, now chariot. There's distance with the chariot, but this is also chasing. The chariot, let me see what's, whoever I'm picking up the energy out there. If you're dealing with a concern also, there's an Aries, there's a Sag. I feel like with the chariot, the question here is, well, this person, whoever you're dating, okay, in this is in the same, okay, same journey in life. Are you guys looking for the same thing, okay? As far as like relationship, meaning, are you guys a perfect match? Okay. Then you have a three of pentacles. Okay. Now for others who's already in a committed relationship, is it worth it to stay in it and build this relationship 
and then see things through if there is a future. Okay, that's that. Ten of Wands, of course, there are people watching here, fulfills the burden, right? I'm tired, I can't do this anymore. Should you just break up with them and quit and goodbye, right? Mm. That's that. People who has met someone online in a long distance relationship because travel is involved. Eight of Wands. Or if you're expecting a message also from someone, okay, or a visit, will that manifest? Okay, will that come to fruition if you're waiting for that person? So that's that. Nine of Wands is showing here. Should you just block this person? And that's it. Block them. Goodbye. I don't need to hear from you. Or what is also the reaction when, when that happens, when you do that? Is a grand reveal. I answer your question. I'm going to go for your oracle. So the extended reading is in the lower right side corner of your video. It says more. You click that, you'll see extended. That's where you can find it. After the oracle, I'll announce how you can get a free reading. There's a giveaway. Okay. Let me see. Oracle for Leos. Yin. The moon. The feminine. You have masculine as the emperor, and then you have the feminine, which is the yin. The oracle is saying here is, what is your intuition telling you about this relationship? Because you are always on point with your intuition. You should never doubt yourself. So you already know the answer. Hmm. Now, if you want to know, I'm going to continue to read, but if you want to know how to get a personal reading with me for free, it's our giveaway, you have to text JOIN, the word J-O-I-N, to the number flashing on the screen. You text the word JOIN, and that's it. That's how easy it is. And hopefully you get picked, okay, for a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. Okay, now coming back to the reading, um, yin and yang, the feminine and masculine, the divine masculine and divine feminine. What is going on between the two of you? Your twin flame, your soulmate, is it going to work out? Follow me, link in the description box below.